Right, hi, welcome back. So, in this, uh, just a short introduction on the NETS uh, vision, we'll be using a NETS camera, initialized NETS camera, and then we'll do a little bit of image processing using the uh, OpenCV, uh, OpenCV libraries. Yeah, so in this program, I've defined a few functions. Uh, there is some are similar to the previous pick and placement such as a uh, remove our robot to a home position and converting data and in here it's a function that i put where we will initialize our camera and this is where we'll do most of the image processing and then in our main program here so this would be our observation uh, coordinates okay so we go to home and then we go to the observation and then we will initialize the camera. So in this initialize camera, uh, we will get the compressed image from next to vision, and then we'll uncompress it, and then we'll resize so you can see it better, and then we'll undistort the image. So we'll see why we need to undistort the image for if we want to do uh, image processing using the next camera. And then here are some of the image processing uh, OpenCV2 libraries that have included. So, but first, let's try the difference between distorted and undistorted. Okay. And then over here, we will show the result of the stream, the video stream in here. So, we just say video stream. Okay. And then we can comment this out first and we'll just see the image undistorted oh and we can also comment this out so uh, this open cv i'm right is to actually save our photo in our designated folder all right so that is it, and then we have a rescale frame here to rescale the image. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, and in addition to that, for this uh, video, I've removed the uh, grasping tool because it affects the uh, image processing. All right, here you go. Okay, so this is the image that we are getting from Nets camera. Yeah, let's just so this is the uh, camera and this is the video stream. Okay, so let's let's see the difference between the undistorted and distorted uh, images. Okay, so in this uh, in this program the way to close the window so I've inserted the Instead of if statement here, if you press Q, it will break the loop. So let's do that. Okay, it's closing now. All right, so let's just see the difference between uh, distorted and undistorted, and why it is important to do so. So in here, I just include this. We can continue this to games and see the difference okay, there is some error okay yep it is the wrong one so it should be keycon instead of this okay let's give it a go again Right, there we go. So let's just zoom this in. As you can see, the two images. So the left one will be the distorted, distorted image, and the right one is undistorted. So when you are doing image processing, it is important to undistort the camera first. Make sure the image is flat. All 
All right, so let's just do a few more uh, image processing functions by uh, integrating the OpenCV libraries. So we can actually convert the image to gray. And we can also include a Gaussian blur in our image. You can explore the OpenCV libraries if you are curious what each of them are doing. And then we can uh, threshold the image. We'll be using a OTSUS uh, thresholding binary. Right. All right, and then we can even draw contours. First, we need to detect detect it first. Okay, I'm going image shape. Uh, image trash. Then we should draw the contours. We'll make a copy of this uh, our grayscale image first. Okay, so we will put see the difference uh, image blur image. And then image, uh, where is it? Image copy. All right, so we will differentiate those two. Let's give it a try. Yeah, there we go. But as you can see, the the con. The contours drawn here is actually what so we can I think we can change the color for better visualization. Okay, there you go. So this looks much better. So over here we have one is a you know the contours being drawn and then besides the original image all right so that is all for this uh, next to introduction to vision and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and comment on the comment section below and see you next week for another next to content thank you